Cartoon Corner's general store. When I did the show, they gave me a set that was an old general store, and they redecorated it and painted flowers on it like it was Pennsylvania Dutch. My, my um, director was named Jim Crayer. What a lovely man. And he's the one who wrote the song, Come Right On Into The General Store. We have licorice, gumdrop, sour balls, anything that you're hankering for, you find a Carton Corner's General Store. It was such a song that I love singing. I love the set. It had a pot belly stove. I still have my register here, and I have everything from that show. I saved them. Can you believe it? In one of my warehouses. Gene's character worked at Mr. Dibley's General Store and pined for the boss's daughter, Debbie, who never gave him the time of day. Mr. Dibley was Scrooge. He was the mean one that I was always scared of, could never ask for a raise. Of course, all I got was two and a half cents, and in time that worked into three and a half cents, and we both know how I got the half cent. He would just... Yes, cartoons played an important role, but the real story was how Gene used his own art and storytelling to educate his young audience. 